Hi, in this video I discuss the role of clauses in the Universal Dependencies framework. What makes clauses so powerful is because they outrank other linguistic units such as nominals and words. This means that clauses can incorporate nominals and other linguistic units at lower ranks. Let's explore this idea further within the context of Universal Dependencies by defining an example and rendering its syntactic structure using displacy, as introduced in the previous video. Here we define a string with the clause I saw a large green bird, which we feed to the language model stored under the variable NLP. We then store the resulting spacey doc object under the variable clause. Next, we provide this doc object to the render function from the displacy submodule and instruct displacy to draw us the syntactic dependencies. This gives us a visualization of the syntactic dependencies between the tokens in the doc object. Let's explore the dependencies in greater detail by printing out the dependency tags for each token in the doc object. As you can see, the language model predicted that the root of this syntactic structure is the verb saw. If we go back to the visualization of the syntactic dependencies, we can see that two arcs lead out from the verb saw, which acts as the head of the syntactic structure. As you can see, the pronoun I is a dependent of the verb and acts as the nominal subject in the syntactic structure, whereas the noun bird acts as its object. And as we saw in the previous video, the noun bird acts as the head of another syntactic structure, namely a nominal. It's important to understand that the syntactic dependencies at the level of a clause are drawn between heads. This means that the arcs lead out from the head verb of the clause and terminate at the heads of the nominals. And just like nominals, clauses can be expanded into larger units. Let's define another example. I saw a large green bird outside and head it out immediately and feed this example to the language model and render its syntactic dependencies using displacing. Adding another clause to the example causes another arc to emerge from the verb saw to the verb headed. In this case, we now have two clauses which are joined by the relation conjunct, which leads from the verb saw to the verb headed. This illustrates how clauses can be expanded into larger linguistic units, such as sentences, and how we can find the participating clauses by looking for dependencies between verbs. Because universal dependencies uses the same relation for describing syntactic dependencies within different phrasal units, one needs to pay attention to both part of speech tags and syntactic dependencies when querying the annotations to identify the phrasal unit in question, that is, whether it's a clause or a nominal. I hope you found this video useful, and if you have any questions about clauses in universal dependencies, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks.